absolutely magical in this place. It always seems to work out our way. Now they've got the numbers to prove it. This dog pound, the student section guys, they're hostile, they're relentless. What's up, Saluki Nation? Welcome to another episode of In the Dog Pound. We got our special guest here, Jawan Newton. Jawan, welcome. Hi, thank you, thank you for having me. Well, I wanna start off with a tough one. Mm -hmm. Changos or Chipotle? <sighs> Gotta go with Chipotle. <laughs> oh man, I know that was a whole huge holdup on your official visit that we didn't have a Chipotle in Neither town, Chipotle. but hopefully, you're good with Changos though, right? I like Changos, I just, the, the chips at Chipotle is different. Different? All right, I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, Obviously you moved around growing up, parents being in the military, but tell me a couple of things or values that your parents instilled in you. It's just uh, always being humble and like disciplined. My dad grew up in a military, like he's been in the military for 20 years. Yeah. He just released, recently retired, so yeah. he's always just being humble and just keeping, like staying grounded is basically what he told me like my whole life. So that's yeah. why I feel like I do best. Yeah, that's awesome. And your brother is playing college basketball right now. Mm -hmm. Tristan's at UConn. Mm -hmm. Talk about those one-on-one -on -one battles, growing up with them, playing against each other, playing on the same team. Um, talk about your relationship with your brother. I definitely love playing with him. Uh, growing up, just I won like every one-on-one -on -one game, though. So <laughs> still, still, you can't. Still? Beat me. Do you hear that, Tristan? You can't beat me. Yeah. But like, he pushed me to get better. Like I couldn't let him be better than me. And yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I pushed him to be better. So it was. He's like my favorite teammate of all time. Yeah, that's awesome. I got to play high school basketball with my brother too, and and I know. I'm the younger brother, you're the older brother, uh, but I know how much, you know, in terms of having the older brother push the younger brother, what type of relationship that forms. Yes, um, so obviously kind of a, a crazy year for you last year at Evansville, you know, got hurt really kind of when conference play started after Christmas, um, you know, towards the end of January. And then when you decided to, you know, put your name in the transfer portal and we first reached out to you. What were your thoughts when you know SAU was calling you after playing against us? I was like, it's crazy. I, I can't transfer in the valley. Like, <laughs> it's just something like I couldn't do. But like, after a further evaluation, like this is like the place I should be at. Yeah, like, it's just a perfect fit for me. And it's like all along, I think I should have been here. Yeah, obviously we had a ton of respect for you and, and Coach Luke Leiter, and um, you know never enjoyed playing against you. Uh, when you took your visit here uh, with your parents, what was something that surprised you about campus, about Carbondale, about the facilities, anything anything that you didn't know we had, obviously after coming here and playing against us and stuff? Uh, the facility for sure, like our locker room, I thought like y'all had us in the back locker room in the, in, the, <laughs> yeah. in the dungeon. So I thought that the facilities are like a little worse than they are, but the facilities are really nice. Like the area is nice. And there's a lot to do out here. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. What about the Valley season? You know, you played four years in the Valley. And just in terms of, as a player's point of view, I know as a coach, it's such a grind. You know, every single game getting ready for the team. But, you know, talk about what it is like a player to go through the Valley season. And one of the favorite things that you've said so far being in this program when you talk to the team was you told our guys, you know, it's not sweet. What do you mean by it's not sweet? Not every game is a grind. Like, I don't care if it was the first team in the Valley or the last one, like every game is a grind. Anybody can be anybody like any given night. So it's just, it's not sweet. Like I said, like every <laughs> game is going to be a, a challenge, a battle. Yeah, it's almost as much or more mental than physical. I mean, physically you get beat up, you, you go through the practices and then you're playing every Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, Saturday, Sunday, but mentally to get yourself you know, ready to go every single game for 18 games. And now this year we got 20 games. Yeah, it's crazy. It's not, it's, it doesn't get any sweeter this year. Nah, it's definitely, we got Belmont, we yeah. got Murray State in, so yeah. UIC, yeah. all good teams. So it's gonna be even like more challenging than it was before. Yeah. One of the things I love about you uh, is kind of that chip you play with, you know, and I think, you know, obviously for you, you know, maybe not being highly recruited out of high school, going to Evansville, working your way. Every single year you got better. You know, freshman year, I think you averaged like three, sophomore year, five or six. Then you made a huge jump junior year and averaged 14 points, helped Evansville finish their highest finish in a long time, get a top six finish in our league. Just where's that chip, where's that drive, that motivation come from? Uh, just like you said, like coming out of high school, I wasn't recruited at all. So like people didn't believe in me and I just had to like prove to people all the time that I am good enough to be a D1 basketball player. And I knew it and my family knew it. It was just only us that believed it. So I mean, when Evansville gave me the chance to go play, I had to make sure that I had to play like a dog every time I get on the court. Yeah. And what's your motivation for this upcoming year? Just to win. Like, I, even at 
inevitable. Like we lost a lot. Like, yeah. Everybody knew we lost a lot. Coming here, I know we got dogs on the team. Everybody's here to win. We got a good coach. Yeah. And so just coming here to win. And we're gonna take over the valley. Yeah. Decent coach. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. To be a <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing uh, that's unique, not unique, but that's I think as a coach sometimes hard to coach is the skill or act of taking the charge. Mm -hmm. and, and you're pretty good at that. Where, is that something you've always did throughout high school? And is every charge you take legit or is there some Academy Awards in there? What, what do you think? I'm like the best actor of all time, I think. <laughs> but uh, I learned it in El Paso because El Paso is a lot of really short guys and they love taking charges. Like they'll step in front of you and take a charge. So like I learned like once I got to playing bigger guys, yeah. like, I can just take a charge and it's a good play for the team, change yeah. momentum. and. It's, uh, for sure, yeah. for sure. I know, I know Marcus and Lance and those guys didn't enjoy yeah. going against you. <laughs> and I'd tell him, we'd show all the film, like he's gonna take a charge if you guys, you know, put your head down against him. Uh, but I'm looking forward to you taking a lot of charges this year. <laughs> what about with the dog pound? You know, it's called in the dog pound. Uh, I think we have, you know, one of the best student sections in the country. How excited are you for them to be rooting for you instead of rooting against you? Yeah, all four years I heard the dog pound, especially when you're on the bench, you hear the dog pound, so. I'm glad they're on my side this time, and uh, yeah. I just can't wait to get out there and perform in front of them. Yeah. All right. Going to finish up with a little segment we call 0.5 seconds. Yeah. You know, in our program, we talk about pass, shoot, and dribble, make quick decisions. So these are questions. Give me quick decisions, all right? You can't let the ball stick right now. All right, you got to keep it moving. All right. Army, Navy, Air Force, or Marines. Which one would you be in? Army. Army? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just the color. This is, this is just a color question. Mm -hmm. Maroon or purple? Maroon. Okay. Okay. Would you rather play post defense on Scotty or full court defense on X? Uh, Scotty. Scotty, yeah. even with his elbows? Yeah, I play Scotty. X is too fast. <laughs> Real fast. Video games or Netflix? Video games. Video games. You prefer Jawan, Juan, Jay, Jay Newt. What are we going by? Uh, Jawan or Juan. Jawan or Juan? Yeah. Okay. All right. Best hair on the team? Lance. Lance, yeah. who needs to get a haircut first, Cade or Clarence? Clarence. Clarence? Yeah, I like Cade's hair. You like Cade's hair? Yeah. Who's got the best fashion on the team? Obviously me, it's gotta be me. What about best apartment setup? Uh, Trent and uh, JD. Trent and JD, there's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the best student section in the country? The dog pound. <laughs> there you go, thanks, Joan, appreciate sure. it. <laughs>